Welcome to this tutorial that will tell you about the three different types of angles in terms of its size. The three types of angles are acute, obtuse and reflex angles. Here's examples of each. Acute angles are the smallest angles. Acute. Acute. Acute means it's small, that's how I remember it. And acute angles are any angles that are less than 90 degrees or a right angle. So they include the narrowest angles, like this one that's 13 degrees, or this one down here. And they go to quite, you know, quite big angles like 79 degrees here, just as long as they're no bigger than the right angle that would be represented as, as a square. The next set of angles are obtuse angles, and they range from 91 degrees to 180 degrees. Basically, any angle that's larger than a right angle, but smaller than a horizontal line, or half a circle. On this page, 108 degrees is the smallest and 149 degrees is the largest. The last group are reflex angles, which is any angle that is greater than 180 degrees. So it's any angle that's larger than a straight line and a circle, uh, all the way up to a full circle, 360 degrees. The smallest angle on here is 194 degrees, which is just a bit more than a, sem than a, than a semicircle, and it goes through 243 degrees, 258 degrees, and the largest angle is 351 degrees. Almost a whole circle. Looks a bit like Pac-Man, actually. Pause this video now and have a go at identifying the different types of angles you can see here. Maybe in your books, uh, create a list of acute angles, obtuse angles, and reflex angles, and write the letters for each section in there. Away you go. So we'll go through the different types of angles that are on here. A, D and E are your acute angles. They're all smaller than 90 degrees. They're all smaller than a right angle. B, G and H are obtuse angles. They're all greater than a right angle, but they're not as big as a semicircle, 180 degrees. That, that leaves C and F being your reflex angles, and F is the largest one. It's smaller than 360 degrees, but it's about maybe 330 degrees in total. Pause the video one more time to have a go at identifying these angles. They're a bit more difficult because none of them have got a horizontal line or a vertical line, so it's a bit more difficult to see which are, which are larger and which are smaller. But decide which are acute, which are obtuse, and which are reflex. Away you go. Let's first of all identify the acute angles. D is obviously smaller than 90 degrees, as is E, which is the smallest uh, angle on this sheet. Now the close one was F. We couldn't quite tell whether or not F was acute or obtuse. It is in fact an obtuse angle. It's slightly greater than 90 degrees. Also obtuse is G and A. They are all obtuse angles. That leaves B and C being reflex angles, greater than a straight line. That's the end of this tutorial. Hopefully you now know the different definitions of uh, the angles for acute, obtuse and reflex. And if you're a little unsure, keep practicing identifying different angles uh, for their size. Well done.